All right, everyone, most of you have heard of Lizzo. I've heard exactly one of her songs. Ironically, it wasn't as bad as some of the stuff that's on the radio these days. So, you know, congrats to you. You're not a mumble rapper. I guess that's an improvement, I suppose. But Lizzo is part of the fat acceptance movement and also a diehard, real far leftoid, like if you listen to her speak on sociopolitical issues, which I don't begrudge people in the music industry being able to weigh in on sociopolitics. Any more than like somebody should begrudge me and I analyze sociopolitics for making some music back in the day. I'd like to make more, but you know, it's a slow segue back into uh, that particular routine. You know, you know, don't always have time. It doesn't exactly pay the bills. It's more of a hobby. So, you know, you gotta you get, get your priorities straight. That being said though, if you're gonna bark off incoherent things and talk about how at 400 pounds you're perfectly healthy, and, you know, spout off leftoidism, you're going to get trolled. I mean, you've got shit opinions. You're going to get trolled for that. You're going to get criticized for that. Lizzo, archived link in the description, of course, uh, the other day uh, on Instagram saying, I quit, and then elaborating, talking about, well, let me just, I just want to improve people's lives, but it feels, it feels like people don't want me to speak out at all. I feel so bullied. Haha, ha, you've been cyber bullied. Um, why? Because people are pointing out correctly that you cannot be fully healthy at 400 pounds? It's, it's, no, 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 no it's, it has nothing to do with, well, I'm comfy in my own body. Okay, I'm glad that you're comfortable with yourself, but you're lowering your lifespan. Some people wouldn't care, by the way. Um, you are going to be less healthy than you would be at 200 pounds or something like that if you were of, av of average or, or uh, a slim fit or something like that. It's simply the case. We know that an excessive BMI is correlated with an increased risk of all sorts of problems. Cardiovascular issues, dementia, um, you know, pre premature aging to an extent as well. You know, your body is, is trying to metabolize all that fat and uh, can't really do that. I'm glad that you're capable of dancing on stage for an extended period of time, but you're going to wear yourself out faster. It's just like it is possible for a person to be a chain smoker and remain healthy and live to the ripe old age of 85. We, we see stories about that from people that are like, well, I smoke Marlboros, yeah. And here's this story about this Indian chief that smoked tobacco all day every day and he lived to be 99. Okay, that does happen, but it's the exception to the rule. It's more likely that you're going to fuck yourself. The same is true of obesity. Yes, it is perfectly fine uh, uh, to posit a situation in which somebody is obese, and in her case, morbidly, morbidly obese, but they live to be 80, and they never have any significant health issues. Part of it is just genetics. Part of it is just the luck of the draw. If you were born with certain heart defects, for example, you're at a massively increased uh, 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 possibility of getting congestive heart failure, or having a heart attack, or something like that. It doesn't matter if you just eat salad all day and you go jogging five miles uh, five times a week. It doesn't necessarily fully compensate, but you have a better chance. You have a better shot. On the socio-political side, you just got done performing at an event with three corrupt boondoggling goofballs, namely Joe Biden, the old white demented racist, Bill Clinton, the old white not yet demented, I suppose, rapist, and Barack Obama, the uh, unlovable neocon who droned American citizens, weaponized the IRS, and ran machine guns to uh, cartels in Central America. And then you wonder why people criticize you. If you're openly political, you're always going to have critics. I know I've got my fair share, but they can't rant about me being obese, now can they? They, they can rant about other aspects of my personality or my appearance, but they're not going to be able to call me fat. And so I, I take great glee in that. If I was fat, then definitely uh, the deluge would come. You know, instead they say I'm too skinny. I'm like, okay, I'd rather be, you know, on the lower end of weight than Lizzo size, and I think that everyone else would like that too. There are some people out there that are chubby chasers, and I don't really understand it, but, you know, fuck it. Each to their own, and it's perfectly fine. But pretending that society needs to treat someone with kid gloves who is knowingly exposing themselves to a health risk by effectively eating themselves to death is preposterous. That would be like saying, well, society needs to be more tolerant of people who chain smoke. No, it doesn't. It needs to encourage them to quit. You shouldn't say, well, this is such a terrible character flaw that you should be a pariah, but you should gently remind that person once in a while, hey, you know, cigarettes aren't good for you. 
Like, if I were to sit here smoking a bunch of marbs on camera or something like that, people would criticize me. They would say I'm a bad influence. So, I mean, no one under 18 would be allowed to watch me. <laughs> Not that they should be anyway, because they say cunt too much. Uh, it, it would be bad influence. I'd be harming my health. People would encourage me to quit. And some people would say, oh, that's so gross. You know, oh, man, you know, you must smell terrible and stuff like that. If I were to sit here and booze up on screen... If I were to say, well, it's just part of my personality. I'm perfectly healthy drinking 20 gallons of rum every single day. No, people would, would find that odd and say, man, you're a fucking wreck. And, and there would be reason to do so. Or smoking crack or something like that. I got too much of a load from Sleazy. I'm going to mail some out to the subscribers. Signed crack bags or something like that. People would find it nuts. They would say, well, you're destroying your health. You're influencing people in a negative way. Fucking stop. Same is true of fat acceptance. It shouldn't exist at all. I'm not going to go up to somebody and say, hey, Lord ass, just because they're fat or something like that, but I'm not going to sit there and pretend to celebrate the fact that they are obese. And there's also, there's a difference between, oh, you're overweight. There's a little chunk, a little chub, a little curves or something. This is what people think that is being referred to when people say, well, men love curvy women. Okay, a curve is like this. It's not like this. There's a difference between the two. Uh, that's just, I mean, they talk about, like, Marilyn Monroe. She was beautiful. She had a little bit of extra weight on her. Okay, yeah, and it all went to her hips and shit like that. She was clearly not obese. She was clearly of the slim build and simply had really wide hips and nice boobs and shit like that. Etc, etc, etc. That's what we mean by, by curvy. We, do, we don't mean this. We mean this. That's a curve. That, that's the kind of curb, you know, you know, you can, I guess Lizzo has love handles too. It's just, you know, trying to grab them and be all mushy and shit like that. Not entirely clear how you to actually be able to, to get through um, all of the obesity down there. Uh, I guess you uh, definitely, you got to be a foot long or more. By the way, Jared, uh, Jared Fogle, he gets his uh, foot longs for free nowadays. Uh, is she quitting music? That's the question. Uh, because she said, I quit. I think it has to do more with, like, I quit trying, like I quit uh, bothering to debate people over the fact that I happen to be, like, 400 fucking pounds, and I claim that that's perfectly healthy. Sadly, I don't think she's quitting music, because that's where her money comes from. And also, if she generates free attention like this, well, that just means more album sales and more polarization, because people who do believe in leftoidism are more likely to buy her shit. They were to begin with, but now they're even more likely. She knows her audience. She's getting the pity for this. She's getting pity, and she says she's going to get pity, pity sales of her uh, tickets to her next concert and shit like that. Unfortunately, she's probably going to remain there until she drops dead on stage of a heart attack at 40 or something like that. That's about all. Peace out.